Hey loves, hey, welcome to the Life Room. Um, so today is a diverse day, days. like it's a first diverse day on my channel. So God has been speaking to me um, with this with this passage of scripture. Like these words has been coming to me for a while. God wants me to share like as you share these words. So it's needed, like we need it. So it's. And it's about waiting on God for the promise. Yeah. So welcome to the life in me with Phoebe Sumi. I'm so super glad to have you here today. Um I have been I have been um, studying and I've been noticing my life the life journey like for for my time of working with the spirit, like with God, I have come to the place now to to realize that. As a true Christian, as a true believer, the hardest thing is to wait on God. To wait on God for the promise, whatever that promise may be. So I was reading this passage um, in Hebrews. God has been, been speaking to me for this one for a while. So in Hebrews chapter 6 verse um, 15. But I'm going to start reading from 12 coming down. Though I say that, that ye be not slothful, but followers of them, whom true faith and patient inherit the promise. 15. It says that, and so after he had patiently endured promise. So this scripture is that is an encouragement so much from God and it's about receiving a promise. The promise can be anything. The promise can be you are believing God for this amazing marriage life, that you are believing God for this amazing spouse. You will know that you want God to bless you with this. But you keep on waiting on him, you keep on um, trusting him, doing his will, putting him first in your life. But you are not seeing the promise. Like that is the hardest for me that I have seen in the Christian work, and it takes me a great grace to to help us to fulfill this promise. So before before I came to God, I I used to live like that was my own story. I think that I will insert some photo. If that will be okay, I'll that will be insert some photos here of how I used to just carry myself and. Coming in the presence of God, it just like um, you do the things that He said you should do. Now, but it is your responsibility to do it because God expects you to do it, and you want to be like Him. So this is the point. And when the most God say that He will do something for you, the thing about is that He is not going to work for you in your timing, like the time that you think the promise of God should come to pass in your life. It will not be. The timing for which God says that yeah. is going to come. The promise that He has promised, it will come in His own timing. But in the period of you waiting, the period of the hardest. I'm not just talking about you um, bothering around. I'm saying, like, being still. I would love to hear from you. Have you ever experienced such before that you had to wait on God? It's like you are bound by the word. The word bounds you in a way that the word frees you. The word of God it frees you, but then it keeps you bound in a way that you don't want to do things that are outside the will of God, and you want to do things that please this God. And there is nowhere else. You don't know no one else. Um, the word will make you mold you like to fix to force to be. So um. I've been believing God for a lot of things in my life. I've been believing God for a lot of things. And it's just like, um, you as, I'm just going to give an, a, an example with a lady that wants a child. So if you really want a child and you know God, you believe God, and you know that it, it, this promise for the promise to come, you it does not have anything to do with you. It is not something that you need to maneuver your way. It is not something that you need to go talk to people. And even if you are talking to people, the day will not make it to happen, but it is God. And yet then you know that you really desire it, but God is in a way 
being so so slow in a way that he's just moving with his, his own time his own speed his own his own everything he did in that place what does it take for you to stay put right at that spot right there that you don't leave you don't turn right you don't turn left you don't go left you don't go front you don't go back you just stay right there and believe in god for me i would say that this is what being a child of god this is what being a true child of god really is like you know that you really desire this you will do anything in the world to have it but yet and still you submit your desire to god and say that god i really want this thing where god i really would love to have this thing but if you see that i don't need it right now let your will be don't have your will and you just submit your desire to him like half your will the scriptures here that a fool but followers of to have a beautiful life if i really decide to have a marriage and what i desire i'm not really seeing it coming to pass yet but i cannot go left you know cannot go right because the world does not permit me to go i have my own will to go but by the word and by the spirit of god I'm like i don't want to go and you just stand still the pure of you standing still this is where this is where god makes you to become like what he wants you to be this is the hardest the, the toughest part of being a child of god i have seen prayer i've seen fasting i've seen praying i've seen walking i've seen studying the word i've seen thinking i've seen worship i've seen all of those things but for me personally so i will urge you that if you are at a point that you are the verge of letting go like you like god I, I can't do this anymore just just break down before god and cry out cry out cry out and tell him like i can't do this anymore like i'm not able to do this anymore i just need you to help me so i believe that in this your strength gets more and we are going to believe the word that when the promise is being made full that is going to glory that is going to it's going to blow our mind that's the promise that's the fit so sister and uncles brothers in the faith like i'm talking to sisters right now i'm i'm there to talk to sisters right now let's keep believing the promise keep believing the promise of god just keep patient just stay at that place and don't leave just stay right there because true faith and patient you endure the promise you receive it and once the promise has been received you will now have the desire to control yourself and not allow not make it so big of a deal because you are learning how to live without it for so long of a period so guys this was just what dropping my my spirit i would like to hear from you guys i'm leaving a comment this is this was an episode of the life in me and i'm grateful i'm sorry but there have been a lot of going on with me and i'm trying to deal with some stuff but i promise you guys we are going to shift this place more than you watch anything but we are moving with this and the future is great like the future is very good so thank you for tuning in for this episode and love you leave me a comment leave me a question follow me on instagram for amazing content like for inspirations and let us Let's just be friendly. See you and love you to love for God. Like.